OK, let's check out what Chef Mark is making in the Beko kitchen. What's going on today, Mark? Oh, I've got a favourite on the menu today, San Choy Bao. All right, what is it and what's in it? You know what that means? Translate I, I don't. Bye -bye. Lettuce, pork and soy. Like, literally? <laughs> oh. no, no, I don't know. I'm going to Google it later and I'll let you know. <laughs> OK. Um, so it's, a, it, it's pretty much like a dumpling, but instead of a dumpling wrapper, it's, uh, we're going to use the cups of the lettuce. Oh. So it's going to be gluten-free, if you use gluten-free soy. So I've got a beautiful uh, sauce here with some cooking wine, some soy, some oyster sauce, uh, and then we've got some carrots, some onions, spring onions, and these beautiful dried mushrooms, which I'm just rehydrating in here, and we're going to chop that through it to get that nice umami flavour. Mm. Um, it's going to be great. Fantastic. It sounds delicious and I cannot wait to get cooking. And Mark, we've got a somewhat tasty and rather healthy meal to we get through today. We certainly have. What are we doing? Bao. Right, so it's all about the uh, pork mince. That's what we're going to use today. So okay. we need to get as much flavour as we can in there. Sure. Okay, so we're going to start off with an onion. So just dice it up. So it's all about texture as well, this dish. Okay. So you can pop, um, there's a little bit of oil in there. So a little bit of peanut oil. It's obviously rather hot. It is very, very hot, actually. So we're going to turn it down slightly. Right, onion's going first. Yep. Uh, and then I've got some garlic. So I'm just going to roughly chop that. And some ginger as well. Nice. And that's going to... So with the onions, are we, like, what are we really looking for? Are we, again, we're sweating and we're looking for translucent? Yeah, we're sort or? of, yeah. I mean, you know, you can get a little bit of colour on here because we've got quite robust flavours. <laughs> Making you cry again. <laughs> again, I tell you, it's Mel. She beats me. <laughs> Sorry, you can just stay in the kitchen, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so garlic and ginger, and the ginger's just going in like reasonably no, roughly chopped. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dice it, but it's quite nice, you know, as I said before, lots of robust flavours, and it's quite nice to have this sort of, you know, texture of the onions and garlic and, and ginger in there. Yep. You know, so you bite on it and then you've got your, you know, you're getting all these like, you know, really good flavours in there. A bit of a party in the old mouth. Exactly. Okay. So the mince over here, what are we looking for? Is it pork, pork mince is pork mince is pork mince? Or? Yeah, well, so pork mince, so, I mean, you know, it will have fat in there. You do want a little bit of fat in there, but then, you know, just be careful you don't get it too fatty. Sure. You know, if, you, if you're not so keen on the, the high fat content, you could use half pork and half beef if you wanted, right. or even chicken, you know, and then you can sort of, um, you know, counterbalance it. Right. Right, and then sort of we can whack the heat up now, and then as you did uh, a couple of days ago, you know, just break down that mince. Um, so, and you, then is this something that you could use for dumplings as well? Like this could become a filling for for that. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. You could, uh, yeah, you could do the whole. You could do the same thing, and then instead of putting it in the lettuce leaf, you could put it in dumpling wrappers and just bake them. In terms of the pork mince, is it, you know, does it do, go more quickly than say a beef mince when you're cooking it, or is it about the same? Yeah, you want to you want to make sure you cook it through, yeah. see being pork. Um, you know, it's quite fine. It's a really fast recipe, so just um, you know, make sure you colour it again, yep. like what we're doing. Make sure it's all brown, and then we're going to make a sauce, and we're going to put a sauce in there, and we're going to cook the sauce down so it's almost right. glazed. Ooh. See, I am getting that, that beautiful sort of almost roast pork smell that comes out of pork mince when you're cooking it, which is really making me salivate. I see. And it's so good as well. Pork, pork mince is, you know, it's almost like um, it's almost like a blank canvas, you know, pork. Yeah. You know, on its own, it doesn't really taste that much, but it, you know, it does incorporate lots of goody uh, flavours, really nice flavours mm. in there, you know, especially Asian flavours. Have you got enough carrots there? Uh, <laughs> I'm madly chopping to try and get enough. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to get some carrots, so just dice them up, so we'll put them in. A couple of minutes, that's all it'll take, you know, we still want a little bit of texture on there, we just want them to soften slightly. So carrot, is that a flavour, a colour, a, you know, what's the function of the carrot? Yeah, it just gives you a bit of sweetness in there and, and some more texture, you know. You know, I mean, if, you, if you're allergic to carrots or you don't like carrots, you don't can leave them, them out. No, but it's just, you know, it's nice to have yep. um, a few extra um, goodies in there, you know, just make it a bit more interesting. So what else do we need to do before we go? Right, before we go, we've got our mushrooms. So we've got the shiitake mushrooms here. So you can see I've just been soaking these in just some nice hot water. So you buy them dry, is buy it them right? dried. you can buy them dried. Yeah. And, then... and that's a great thing as well, because you can buy them dried and then you can just keep them in the pantry. And then yep. every time you need them, just uh, pop them in a bowl, boiling water over the top, and just give them sort of five, ten minutes, and then they just become nice and soft. Chop awesome. them up and we'll get those in. What do we do with the liquid? Anything? 
Um, you can keep the liquid. Um, it's always a good idea to strain it because sometimes they're, uh, they're dirty, the mushrooms. Right. So strain it if you're going to use it. Dirty mushroom. <laughs> All right, so the shiitake mushrooms have gone in Yeah, there. shiitake mushrooms gone in. And if you strain that, you can pop that in there as well and reduce it off and you get like a really nice depth of flavour in Excellent. there. Excellent. Right, we're going to get the next steps to make these san choy bao in a couple of minutes. Right, so uh, we're going to make a quick sauce now. So I've got a splash of water in here. Some yep. corn flour, and you just want to dissolve that in the water first. That's so going to help thicken it. This was the staple thickener of New Zealand through the 60s <laughs> to the 90s and beyond. I think the same in the UK <laughs> as well. Right, right, so a little bit of um, uh, light soy sauce, some dark soy sauce goes in there. Why the two? Uh, just get different flavours from it. So the cool. dark, you get a real sort of treacly rich richness yep. from um, it. The pork's just farting over here. So yeah, yeah, you keep stirring it. Uh, well, I'm good at that. Uh, so oyster sauce goes in there, sesame oil, some Chinese cooking wine, and a little pinch of sugar as well. That goes in it. Dissolve it all in, and then we'll go over to the pork, Ooh. and then we're going to pop that all over the pork. So we want to, you know, the pork's all cooked now, but we want to get the flavour in. So this is how we'll get the flavour in. Wow, Ooh, and you just want to really good. Yeah, so you want to uh, cook it down so it thickens, it coats it, so it's nice and sticky. Yeah. So we can turn the heat off now, and then we can pour it into that bowl. And then we're just going to finish it with some uh, just finely shredded uh, spring onion. And then that is that is ready to go, you know? That's, so that's literally, literally it. That's it. That's, that's literally it. So you could let that cool down and then you could use that as dumplings, fillings, if yep. you wanted. You know, that would be really the, good. Um, what are these peanuts doing lingering over uh, here? That's going to be a little garnish. Ooh. You know, you could put that in there. Could, you could put it in there Ooh if la you la. wanted. Give but that a now, bit of stir around, do I? Yeah, give it a good stir around. Oh. Right, I'm just going to take the <gasps> base off the lettuce and then... You can Hello. carefully this is really good. peel your lettuce cups. Just uh, lettuce cups. Yep. And then all you do, you know, trim them, trim them down a bit. Yep. And then to get them, you know, but just serve them up in a big stack. And then all sure. you do in the bowl, get this. Pop a couple of spoonfuls in there. You know, you could put some coriander on there. You could put some chilli in there if you yep. wanted. Just some peanuts. We're just going to um, just roughly chop up and sprinkle on top, and that Mind is the it. Fingers there. They look so simple. I mean, I'm not taking away from what you do, but really, quite simple. <laughs> <laughs> and the smell here is delicious, so very much looking forward to trying these. I cannot wait. Of course, the recipe and all the ingredients are on our website, so you can try them at home this weekend. Mark, how is that San Choy Bao coming along? Oh, we are ready. Just putting the finishing touches on there. And it's good to go. Hello. Yum. Cannot wait to try that. that. Alrighty, what's on the menu for Monday? Right, on Monday we've got pork and prawn balls in a broth. Oh yum, that sounds good.